Hello, visionaries, and welcome back. I am Leonidas. This is Nucleares. Patch 196, but patch 196 is kind of weak sauce. Uh, he just fixed the, the missing floor. Um, so, really, the latest update is patch 195, but man, I almost don't know what day it is today. Uh, I'm on, I think, my fourth video of the day today. I've been editing. Today is the same day as the supplemental video, and then I did a stationer's video, and I recorded another. Oh my goodness. Anyway, but here we are, and this video is about the new pressurizer. I was about to say system. It's not a new system, it is a new gauge, and uh, the developer will tell you that there's nothing new to it but it does act a little differently. So we're go so I'm going to explain it and then I'm going to show um, how it affects the startup if you use my startup method um, or the, at least the one that I employ. I shouldn't, I, I don't take credit for it. It's not mine. It's just the one that I use. Uh, I added to it, but Falrana was the original one that told me about it. Oh, so many moons ago, moons ago. So let's jump in. Let's dive in. And this is my favorite part because this is where we get to talk to each other and see how life's going. And if you guys had anything you want me to eat lady lately seen any good movies you know waiting for nuclear to start up oh hey look at that so here we are control room new game uh everything looks familiar right da, 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 da. and then this guy this came out in patch 195 and everything's the same except for that this used to just be a round radio dial or excuse me not dial uh gauge and it's been replaced it used to say i think pressure used to be up here and temperature used to be here um, and now it's all moved around a bit, uh, obviously. So I'm going to review this and how things have changed. So you have water temp and you have saturation temp. Um, and then you have, uh, kind of a, a visual, uh, gauge of how this works. So I don't want to get into the science of this, but this actually kind of relates to my in-depth vacuum and condenser system video that I made where I talk about saturated steam and that will be for another video for my subscribers uh, soon TM um, when I put that out but saturated steam is um, a moving number and I'll explain what saturated steam is in that other video know that this is not a measurement this is a calculation what this is saying is that when your essentially your water slash steam temperature reaches 100 degrees Celsius, whatever this number is, Celsius, you, that, is, that is the saturation point, okay? This is the actual temperature of the water in the pressurizer. Um, the goal is to have this number higher than this number. If it is not, if the water temp is above your saturation point, you're going to get gas in your pressurizer and um, it, it's going to make life difficult. Now, I'm going to... Do I want to demonstrate the wrong thing? Yes, I will demonstrate the wrong thing. Here is how everybody starts up and this is how it used to be. Right, you just walk over, you hit heaters on, you hit thermostat on, and I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to go triple speed and we watch. When this hits... Uh, oh, I've, been, I've done so much, test, so much testing. I've played games back to back to back to back to back. I think it's, it's like 118. This starts going up. Oh, 120. Okay. And it keeps going. And it keeps soaring, keeps soaring, keeps soaring. Okay. And over here, we have a pressurizer uh, fill level. Oh, my goodness. It's coming down. We don't need to run all the way over there, by the way. You can do it right here. Oh, my goodness. Pressurizer is dropping. It's dying. The reason for that is because we have steam. Because our water temperature is higher than our saturation temperature. But if you notice, it's going to freeze in a minute. When this number gets within about, oh, I don't know, uh, 10, 8, it's hard to tell, this number actually freezes. It's going to do it, uh, it should do it any second. Or it's going to make a liar out of me. Is it? There you go, 45, 38. It's not always the same number. Sometimes it's 43 something, sometimes it's 40, usually it's either 45 something or 43 something. I don't know exactly know the difference, but notice it's frozen and look how close the numbers are together. What you're also going to see is that this is not going to is not going to stay. What's going on right now is we're heating up our temperature, 
and as we heat up our temperature, our saturation point is changing. As we're heating up our water temperature, we're, we're also generating pressure inside the pressurizer. Don't mess with this. Leave it. I'm showing you the wrong way right now. Okay, look how close these are. They're within like less than a degree right now. Anyway, don't mess with this. What you're gonna see is our goal is for this to get to about 150 and shut off. It's gonna overpressurize. It's gonna overshoot it. And we're gonna get a warning in a minute. I think once this gets to 180, three, four, five, we're gonna get an overpressurization light. There it is. Uh, we're at 200, and this crashes. We get the which if you're over here, you won't hear it. By the way, notice how close you have to be. And oh well, it went away. Oh, that doesn't help. Okay. So the overpressurization is gone, but this is still has fallen. In order to get this back, I will show you how to do this. Um, but just know other things are going to happen. Here we go. To, to alleviate this, we want to get rid of the steam, so we open it. Okay. You're going to notice, excuse me, I also need to, I believe I need to turn this on to like five. All right. Nope. Oh, look at that. Bam. Already up. We got all the steam out. Okay. Never mind. And then we close it fast. Kacha. Kacha. Close. Okay. But now look. Oh, because all of our pressure went out. Oh, that didn't fix anything. And now we're in the same problem again. It's heating again 100%. And we're going to get more steam again. And this is going to drop again. And that's why this is wrong. And a lot of people are having issues with this. So. That's the wrong way. Now, let's go do the, the right way. Okay, here we are back in our new uh, control room, restarting. One of the things I didn't explain is why that happens just a second ago. So what happened there was we uh, overshot. Our, our heaters cranked up to 100%. And by the time it reaches the point where the thermostat says, okay, shut off now. Um, as this kind of winds down, it overshoots, it overheats it. And, and that's what causes all of our issues. To get around that when you start up, if you just put this at medium, it'll work, or low. Medium's fine, it'll get up to about 183, 181. It doesn't overpressurize, it'll work fine. Low also works, um, it just takes a really long time. So now I'm gonna demonstrate my method for starting up and uh, uh, setting this up in an in initial startup. So we'll click this on. Okay, we're leaving it at high and I'm gonna go triple speed. And we're gonna let this go. We're waiting for this somewhere between 340 and 350 on the water temperature. I'm gonna shut it off. I have to do it manually, so don't just walk away and ignore it. You, you need to uh, sit here and pay attention. So as we watch, this drops, kind of like expected. It should drop to that 45, 38, or whatever it is. Um, maybe it'll be a different number this time. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. See a different number 4488. Why is it different? I don't know. But what should we talk about in the meantime? Sport ball? Hockey? Oh, wait, we got to pay attention. Okay, we're getting close. We'll go single speed. As soon as we hit 340, we're going to shut this off. Now watch. This is still 4488. 340, off. Oh, look. It magically snapped to 360. I don't know why. Um, I don't think it's supposed to do that. I think it's just a nuclear game thing. It snaps and look, we're good to go. We didn't overpressurize. Uh, we didn't, we're not losing our pressurizer. We are good to go. It is set. So now what I do is I take this and I set it to low because once it's at temperature, you don't need it to go fast anymore. When the thermostat kicks it on, when it is, uh, when it gets too low, uh, it, the low setting works fine. The low setting works fine to start it up too from that really cold temperature. We, oh, see, look, it's doing it right now. It takes a long time and it's very slow. So uh, that's why I shut it off, switch to low, turn it back on, and now I can walk away and forget it. Okay, easy peasy. Now I do, I follow my checklist, startup is normal and everything's fine. Notice that this gets much higher. Okay, it goes up to 180 now, 183, somewhere around there, and then it turns off. Um, 
And see, so our, our heating power has dropped to zero. It's not on anymore. This will just fall naturally over time. It is pretty slow. See, that's falling slowly. Our temperature is falling slowly. Our saturation temp will fall slowly. What this number means, I guess you should have also mentioned this. Now going back to the sap saturation temperature. If our core temperature goes above this number, we will get steam inside the core. So right now I can crank it open and get to 407 and be okay. 408, not okay. 407, sure. But notice that this drops over time. So I would I would give yourself a little wee leeway. I also don't think that this is going to um, last. This is also a nuclearis thing. Again, more in the subscriber video some other day. This is a theor this is a not even a theoretical. This is a, a made up imaginary number because in the real world. Steam can't get to a saturation point of 406. Uh, it, it doesn't really exist. It would be super critical, um, super heated. So I think as we move toward realism, this number will probably be capped out. Again, if you've heard my rocket launch analogy in Discord uh, or in my live stream, this is what it is, right? You have SpaceX, Virgin, uh, JBL, whoever your uh, favorite um it's jbl uh your your favorite uh rocket launch company is when they build a rocket for the first time they don't plan on it blowing up they know it's going to but the, the hope is to get it on the first try they launch it, it explodes they figure out what happened what went wrong make the changes oh you know they know the math they're not dumb they know how things work and and the, the math checks out when they set it up and when they build it and, and apply it but it just doesn't go as planned because of something they didn't anticipate or you know, things don't work in the real world like they do on paper. So you get some differences. That's how Nuclearis is. The developer puts codes in things um, and then launches that rocket. And then it doesn't turn out exactly how we wanted it. So he tweaks it, goes back to, to relaunch again. So just know that this will probably change. Uh, I don't think it's going to stay this high, but it is for now. So just don't let your core temperature, this reading here, internal temperature, Get above that number. Give yourself some wiggle room. We've, we've, as I've been talking, you've seen it drop. So anyway, there's your new pressurizer system that came out in patch 195. And yeah, for those using my startup method, just do those little steps first. Don't just hit it and walk away from it. Flip it on. When it gets to 340 or 350, uh, don't let it get above 360. The key is don't let it get over 360. So whatever that is, you don't actually technically have to turn it off either. You can just use the dial and, and move it down. Um, it's up to you. Technique at your discretion. Uh, but just uh, for simplicity's sake, I just shut it off, turn it to low, flip it back on, let it do its thing. And it's fine. Totally all good. And then just continue on with the startup checklist if you're using mine. So anyway, there you go. Um, that's the new pressurizer system in patch 195. Uh, I am Leonidas. Oh, yeah. Join my Discord. Come join my Discord, um, hang out, ask questions, uh, link in the description below. Join the official Nuclearis Discord, great community there. Uh, my Discord, you can get more one-on-one -on -one specialized help. Uh, big community in the official Nuclearis Discord. I'm in both, and I'll see you in one of them. I'm Leonidas, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you again soon.